Today we will discuss our next question that is remove outermost parenthesis. So uh, this is our input and this is our output. So uh, how we can solve this problem? Uh, so we have given a uh, input as a string of parentheses right so what we can do we can split our string in valid substring valid uh, parenthesis strings like this is valid one right we uh, get an open one close one open one close one and open and close this is valid one and this is also valid one so when we get a valid uh, string of parentheses uh, in that case we split our string from that point and we will uh, our, we will remove the outermost uh, strings of the valid one one, right uh, this uh, this in this example uh, we have split from uh, here so this is valid one uh, string parenthesis and this is also valid one parenthesis so we will remove our outermost this is outermost this is outermost so these two are remaining right so this one and this one and this one are remaining one and this is our answer so how we can solve this problem so what we can do we will use a counter variable right so in that counter variable uh, how we uh, we will use counter variable right so in that we uh, increase our counter when we will we will go to open one open braces right when we go to open parenthesis in that case we will increase our counter by one right so initially our counter was zero and here we get open one so our counter will become uh, one right and we move to the next one and our counter will become one two again because we go to open one and when we go to uh, close one in that case what we can do we will decrease our counter by one right our counter was two and we go to close one so our counter will become again one and from here we will go to again open one so our counter will be will become increased by one means it become two and from here our counter will increase by uh, decrease by one because we go to close one so our counter will become one and here our counter will become zero so when our counter will become zero from that point we have to uh, split our string right and we got a valid one right and in that valid one what we can do this is valid one right this is valid one string right so from here we will we have to remove first element and the last element right first and last we have to remove that and remaining part we have to store in a result one right and we have to uh, we have to start from the next pointer and increase our counter from here and our counter will become one again and it will become two from at that point and it will become one at and it will become zero then it will become zero means we get we will get again a valid uh, string of parentheses so what we can do we, uh, this is our uh, second string so what we can do we will remove the first one and the last one and we will remaining with this one so we will add this one in our result so initially our result was this one and after uh, adding this one our result will become like this right and we will return our result when our uh, string uh, length was completed right and in second example uh, our counter uh, let's explain uh, second example our counter becomes one at here it will become two at here it will become one again at here it will become two and here it will become one and here it will become zero so we have to uh, split our string from here so we will get a string a valid a string of parenthesis like here and we will uh, we have to remove first one and the last one this is first one and this is the last one so uh, this will become our result right it we will add remaining part in our result and the from next pointer we will increase our counter uh, it will become one it will become two at this one it will become uh, one at this one and it will become zero at this one so means we will get again valid one so this is a valid one right so and we have to remove outermost this is this one and this one are the outermost so this uh, we will remaining we will add in result remaining part so uh, that we will add this one in our result right and from here our counter will become one two and it will become zero sorry one and again two again three and here two one 
and zero. So means this is a value uh, parenthesis, right? So in this case, we will have to remove first one. This is first one, and we have this is last one. So we have to remove. Uh, uh, this is a remaining uh, result and and st uh, string, and we will add this one in our result. So we will add this one and uh, like this one. So this is our result, and when we match our result, it will become like same. So this is our result, right? This is our output. We ha uh, I have code. Uh, I have written the code here. So first, we, what we can do, we will uh, take a string as the result, which we have to return at the end, uh, right? And we have uh, taken a, another string answer. Uh, we will store the answer uh, until we uh, get uh, the uh, valid. Uh, string of parentheses, right? And we will take a counter variable as zero, right? And we are traversing in this string one by one. Then we go to open braces. In that case, what we will do? We will increase our counter by one, and we will push back that uh, that uh, element in our answered uh, as variable, right? And then we go to uh, close braces, and we will pu push that uh, one. Uh, push that in our answer and we will decrease our counter by 1 right and we will check the counter if counter becomes zero in that case what we can do we will remove the last element and the first element from the string answer uh, we are storing uh, our valid parenthesis in a string uh, name as answer right and when we quote a valid one in that case what we will do we will we'll remove first and the last one means we are removing outermost parenthesis right and after that what we will do we will uh, push that one in our result right initially our result was empty uh, our result was empty and when we get a valid one in that case what we will do we will add this one in our result right and after that we will clear our Answer because uh, from uh, next point we have to store next valid substring, right? We have to next we have to store next valid parenthesis, right? So this is our code, and at the end what we are doing we are returning our result.